Today we're going to turn this into this. What's up everybody? Today we're going to be doing a PS5 retro DIY little bit of a makeover here. So my goal is to get these plates off and I want to make it look exactly like the original PlayStation. So what we got is a super nice gray spray paint that we're going to be spraying onto the console and we got some of these retro stickers right here. And what we're going to be doing with this is we're going to put it right inside this underlay here and it's going to look super sweet. It's going to have those original classic PlayStation uh, colors. So we did a little bit of research to find that color palette online or the Pantone color of the original PlayStation. And we went to Home Depot, we grabbed something uh, pretty close and we're going to go ahead and uh, roll with it. First things first, let's go ahead and take off the plates of our PS5. You're gonna lift up the corner just slightly and then push the whole thing down. And that's gonna unlock the, uh, the grips. So we got plate number one, um, plate number two, same idea. You're gonna lift the corner and you're gonna push it down. It comes off very, very easily as you can see. We got the, uh, the matte texture of this. Is hopefully it sticks to the paint because I don't know, that might be an issue, but I think, I think it should be okay. We don't wanna put too much paint on because that could be an issue with like blobbing and it won't look nice and consistent, which we don't want. So of course, guys, we need a ventilated area for this. If we spray paint, you don't wanna breathe that in. So we open up the gate. It's a little windy outside. So that's why uh, we're on the inside of this, um, of the, the warehouse here. So we got Andrew, our photographer, he's gonna be painting because he got the, the good sleight of hand. Okay guys, while our plates are drying, we got them sitting in the other room. I thought the, the logo of the PS the PS5 or the PlayStation logo was a little bit boring. So what we did is we designed a cool little retro logo. So I guess when I say retro, I talk about like the original PlayStation colors, which are these ones right here. And we have these other cool uh, different uh, original colors just in solids. So what we're gonna do is, it doesn't look like the logo right now, but when we put the plate on, it's really gonna look like that logo. It's gonna look super cool. I'm gonna take um, this one off right here, and you're just gonna take, when you take the plate off, you're gonna put it in the, uh, the underlay, right in that area. So you're just gonna kinda size it up there. You kinda have to be a little bit careful. Just be careful and then press it all down. And then, when you put the plate back on, it's gonna look super, super sick, just like the classic PlayStation. Okay, we put the retro sticker on. Now we got our dry plates. This is the finale. We're gonna go ahead and put the actual plate on the console. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take your plate. This is the front plate here. You're gonna drop it just under where it needs to go. And you're just gonna push up on it lightly and it snaps right into place. And then we could see the logo there. It looks nice and crisp. So we could just put that up there for now. Ooh. Nice and classic. Time for the back plate. Go ahead and throw that on. Some of the finishing touches here. And boom, there we have it. The PS5 painted to look like the classic PlayStation. I think this looks super cool. Oh my God, I, I like the logo. The logo on here is looking real nice. I love that look. It's, I like it because it's cool to customize these consoles and have your own unique and, uh, feel to them, you know? Because I don't wanna just have a classic, boring, white plate. I wanna have something different. And guess what? This is, no one else has this. This is just exclusive to us. 